the UNRWA, or UNRWA, an offshoot of the United Nations, was created for one purpose. One purpose only. To keep the Palestinians hostage as refugees for over 75 years. At the same time that the Palestinians became refugees, millions of other people around the world also became refugees. This was right after World War II. Now the biggest example is the Jews that were kicked out of the Middle East and all fled to Israel. Hundreds of thousands of them fled the Middle East into Israel. None of them are considered refugees. They used to be rich. They left literally with one suitcase with some clothes, if they were lucky. When they got to Israel, they weren't the poorest of the poor. They were put in internment camps and locked up because they were colored and people were racist then, as was the entire world. And through all that, these Middle Eastern Jews became very successful in society 75 years later, and not one of them are considered refugees. But with the UNRWA, UNRWA, the Palestinians are considered refugees 75 years later for something that happened 75 years ago to their great-grandparents. If it sounds ridiculous, it's because it is. But this is what UNRWA is. This is what the United Nations is. You see, the United Nations was not designed to help people. It was designed to push the good guys deeper into the mud. So therefore, the United States and the good nations, the West, is constantly, all they're doing in the United Nations is vetoing the 70% of the nations who are terrorist states or dictators or communist states, etc. It sounds ridiculous, but here's the real ridiculous part. We pay them hundreds of millions of dollars every single year. Your country, if you're not living in the United States, pays UNRWA, the UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, hundreds of billions of dollars. That means the Palestinians have got billions upon billions of dollars of my money, of your money, of your parents' money, of your grandparents' money, of your friends, of your family, of everyone you know. You gave money to UNRWA, and that money got funneled to Gaza, and most of it went to Hamas. Actually, all of it went to Hamas. And if Hamas felt like it, it found a little bit to other people. But mostly was taken to build rockets. But this is still not what this video is about. This video is about Joe Biden, our president, who gave them money, knowing that, that over a thousand UNRWA members in Gaza are not just affiliated with Hamas, are part of Hamas and over a dozen of them participated in the October 7th massacre. This is a fact. Now here's the thing. They still gave them tons of money. The day that they announced that they were cutting the funding, they pushed hundreds of millions of dollars to UNRWA. Don't know the exact number. It could be just tens of millions of dollars. I don't know. I know they pushed a huge sum of money to UNRWA right before they said we're cutting it off. Now, the reason why they said they're cutting it off is because they're full of terrorists and we don't give money to terrorists. Yet, five seconds before, they pushed it. But again, still not the worst part. The worst part is that they were funding them knowing all this. And the only reason why they stopped is because they were exposed. So our government paid terrorists knowingly knowing that these terrorists would take the money and try to kill Jews with it. And they were fine with this because they weren't exposed yet. And the second they were exposed, they gave them more money and then forcibly had to stop. Now, if they're doing this to UNRWA, who says they're not doing this to other organizations? We don't know. That's the thing. We don't know anything. This came to light because 1,200 Jews were murdered. But if 1,200 Jews would not have been murdered, and it had just been four or 500 Israelis that die every year from Palestinian terrorist attacks, then we'd be fine with giving UNRWA more and more money, even though that money would filter down to the people committing those terrorist attacks. Donald Trump cut funding to UNRWA for this exact reason. 
Joe Biden immediately started to turn the spigot on again right when he became president and only turned it off after a huge backlash. And that's the United States. You might be living in a different country and your country might still be giving money to them even though they know all of this. How can you be okay with this? That they're knowingly sponsoring terrorist groups because you don't know yet. It's ridiculous. But these are the politicians that we have to deal with every single day. I think they have to go. All of them. Every single one of them have to be voted out. Today. Because today it's Uno. 6,000 miles away. Tomorrow, it's Antifa. They're your neighbors. They're going to burn down your house with your family inside it. They already tried during the summer of love in 2020 when they burned down the streets. You've seen the videos. California, stores, flames. DC, stores on the streets on fire. New York City, Fifth Avenue, windows smashed. Is Joe Biden, is our government, forget about Joe Biden for a second, is our government going to sponsor these organizations because you don't know about it? Hmm. Share this video so that this can actually, you know, people can actually talk about this because it's insane. Again, all the things that I've mentioned, the worst part is that they knew about this and they didn't cut it because you didn't know about it. And they were, they were fine with that. Our politicians were fine with that. And trust me, Congress knew. You think they didn't? They did. They just didn't want to do anything. They just wanted to shout and yell and scream at each other. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's vote them out. Let's vote all of them out. Let's replace the entire system. That's what I think should happen. Subscribe, share the video, like the video, comment on the video. I read all the comments. Again, free Palestine. I'm just going to ignore it because. Your statement is an inherent fallacy. Uh, and then I mentioned subscribe. I hear it's a good thing. Also, share the video. I'm not going to repeat myself, but uh, you didn't subscribe, so. Subscribe.